welcome to my channel my name is Megan if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe below we do a ton of unboxings as well as reviews of products that will help make your life easier a lot of my content is coffee content but today we are doing something a little different we're gonna be reviewing a shoe care kit from Blendstone so I recently received these shoes from my sister actually like a couple months ago she got a new pair and gifted me her old pair which are still have so much life left in them and Blendstones are really great shoes so I was super excited to get these from her she is about one to half a size bigger than me but Blendstones have a insert you can put in their shoes to make them a little bit smaller so that's something I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be replacing the insert um, with a new one to make the shoe just like a little bit more comfortable as well so I'll put the prices of these on the screen I can't remember exactly it wasn't cheap but I decided to go with Blendstone brand products just because I wanted to make sure they would work with the products I have so these are just new Blendstone inserts that I'm going to be putting in my shoes to make them just last a little longer on the inside as well as the outside. So my sister had these shoes for probably about a little over than over a year before she gave them to me and wore them like all the time outside in the rain and like hiking and um, while the color has changed a lot I think it's usually like a darker color overall the condition is still really good you can see some wear like on the toe here and there's like a discolored spot here as well so the shoe care kit uh, this is probably a more expensive way to take care of your shoes there are like other products you can purchase on Amazon for a lot cheaper but like I said I just wanted to purchase these this comes with a waterproof spray a polishing pad a renovating cream and a restoring cloth and I hope instructions as well but this is the box oh looks like something shook around a little bit but this is what the inside looks like and then it just says on here since 1870 we have been shaped by our remote and wild island home of Tasmania, a place of rugged natural beauty where comfort and durability are essential. We know that when you pull on a pair of Blundstones, you set out to do something. That's why we are devoted to making boots to suit wherever life takes you. Whilst our boots, or whilst, whilst our boots won't change the world by themselves, you just might. Um, so these are from Tasmania, Australia, if you didn't know that. But let's take this out. So everything is cardboard, which means it's recyclable. So that's really great. This is the polishing pad. So I assume you polish your shoe with this. And it comes with a cover. Ensure the surface is free of dust and dirt. Wipe the sponge pad lightly over the surface. No buffing necessary. Oh, it feels like it maybe had a product on it or something light conditions and clean smooth leather renovating cream so the, this is one of the reasons i wanted to get it from blendstone because they had two options like brown and black and i didn't know exactly like online like on amazon there's so many options for brown and i didn't know which one was the right one so that's why i purchased this i got the brown renovating cream maximum nourishment and protection brush off any dirt from the leather apply the cream evenly and allow it to dry buff with a cloth for high gloss Test on a small area, and yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then I have waterproofing spray, which I actually have this in another brand that I use every year for my winter shoes, but it's always good to have some more. It says to shake well, spray onto dry footwear, allow an hour between applications. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be something I can do everything at once, but I wish it would tell me like which I need to do first. Do I renovate first or polish first? So the polishing pad was actually pretty interesting. Uh, there's like, um, in here is the polishing solution that is like going onto the actual pad in there. And that's why my hands feel a little greasy. But I think what I'm gonna get is a paper towel just to wipe this clean. And I'm gonna look up whether I should polish first or use the renovating cream first. I'm really not sure. So be back. And the other thing it comes with is a polishing cloth, which I think I forgot to mention, but I also have another polishing cloth. I might use that instead. You will see, I did look it up and 
I think I'm supposed to use the renovating cream first. So we're just gonna go for it. I think, so these boots, I believe they're leather boots. They are really, really comfortable. I don't know which ones like they are since I didn't purchase them myself, but I love them so much. I think that I'll probably have to like save up to buy my own pair for like some time eventually. But right now these ones will hopefully last me at least a couple years. So this is what the renovating cream looks like. I have had a lot of boots in the past and done like the renovating cream part before so usually what I do is I go like this I'm sure this is not like the proper way but I just like put it on and then go all the way around as much as I can I usually use like just a wax is what I had done in the past uh, just helps keep your shoes longer or like more in good shape longer but this i knew since my sister's boots like the color changed so much that probably adding this would be good because the color is so different and hopefully this will like make sure that it seals better so, like lasts longer i did brush off the shoes to make sure they were clean probably if you're like better than me you would like get them wet, wash them off, let them dry. I don't have time for that right now. So I'm just putting this all around it. I don't know if I'm doing it right. This is how I've always done it. Just rub it in with the cloth. In the past, I've actually not even used like a polishing cloth, so it probably wasn't great, but I use like old t-shirts and stuff on less expensive boots than this, but to just get it all in there and i do have like a towel down on my table i don't just have my shoes on the table i am so there is like a crease here so i'm just making sure i'm getting like all the way there and then on the other parts of the boot as well and just rubbing it in i did get it on the sole a little bit so i'm gonna wipe that off when i'm done but i'm just gonna get all the way around first this stuff is probably not good for animals so definitely keep any pets away from it and I'm sure children as well um, whenever they're drying and you know worn boots are gonna have like creases and stuff so just make sure you rub everything evenly throughout you can see the difference in color right now you do want to make sure that you do like an even layer to make sure that it's gonna be like an even color when it dries but I think that the polishing at the end will help with that as well, like evening out the color. It has like a buffer on it, so I would guess that's gonna help. Honestly, like these shoes look a lot better uh, than they did about like a couple minutes ago. I'm sure I'm not doing the best job of doing it evenly. I'll try to do like another coat around just to fill in any patchy spots my like theory has always been there they're just shoes so just do it as fast as you can and then hope for the best so I'm just wiping off um, anything that was on the sole because I don't want there to be like brown left on the sole I don't know if it'll dry on there and then not be able to get it off but I'm trying not to wipe it off the actual shoe portion so if you want to see the difference right now, that's the two colors in person. I think it looks even like more different than that. I know that the what I did doesn't really look super even, but I really did my best. I don't know. <laughs> I really did my best. Let's see how that goes. You wanna make sure it's like smooth as well cause that's how it's gonna dry. Oh, I just got some on the black. I'm gonna take that off there before it dries on there. So like for these, cause there's this like stretchy stuff, you wanna not get it on there, obviously. You don't want that to be brown, it's not brown. But just do your best. It's always better to just at least try to make shoes last longer. It's a little bit more sustainable than buying a new pair. Well, honestly, they just look so much better than they looked 
before, like both of them together now. It's not super, super even. You just like, I am trying to make sure that I don't have like some blotchy spots on this one side where I put a little much. I'm just wiping it a little bit off. So that is what these look like right now. I'm gonna not touch them, let them dry. And then whenever they're dry, which might be tomorrow, I don't know, I'm gonna do the polishing pad, let that dry and then waterproof them. So I will be back at some point when these are dry and hopefully that's not too long from now. I'm pretty pumped so far, like they look pretty good. Oh, let me show you. So how much of this I used, it was like filled to the top and you can see it just creviced a little bit. So there's so much in here, a little bit of this goes a long way. So even though I paid a lot for this, pack since it's like blendstone brand it's gonna last me a really long time because that is so much like this is really heavy so i think that these are actually dry they dried pretty quickly but i guess maybe we'll try this polishing cream to give them a little bit more shine and protection and let's see how that goes so i think oh yeah it just comes you can kind of see where it's like shiny so you don't even really need to push that hard it just buffs it out and makes, I think it will make sure that everything is like pretty even and just give it another extra layer of protection. And I feel like this is something that you can do a little bit more regularly to give it that protection. And it's so easy the way that they have it in this. Unfortunately, I don't think, I don't remember seeing on their website like being able to buy this separately. So hopefully this like amount of product in here, which looks pretty small, lasts a really long time. So that was pretty fast. I think I got the whole shoe. Uh, make sure you get the creases. It's shaped pretty well to like make sure you get every single part of the shoe. camera pretty dang good let's see with and without the polish you can kind of tell the difference okay let's do the other one do they look they both look very shiny much more brown than before i mean they're obviously still like used shoes like they're not new or anything but it's a great way to give your existing or if you find a pair like thrifted or from a friend give them some life by adding these products so i really enjoyed this is so easy to use i really like this and this is just like a clear coat basically and then this brown they also sell a black on the blendstone website i did buy all the stuff directly from the blendstone website when i was looking on amazon everything was more expensive because it is like an international company i don't think it has a big like store presence in the states but they do have a u.s online store that you can buy stuff on so like I said, I'll have those products linked below. I probably will spray this to waterproof these later, but you don't need to see that spraying. This is super easy. You just shake it, you uh, take it off, and then you usually spray about like half an inch from your shoes. And you can get, I have like the Kiwi Co. one that I use every year for my winter boots, like I said, and you just let them dry. Make sure you put them in a place where your animals can't get to them and it just gives your shoes some extra protection. So definitely we'll do these to the, do that to these when they're totally dry. I think that this polish will take a little longer to dry than the renovating cream did, but overall I'm super happy with these products and definitely with my Blundstone boots. So let me know which Blundstones you have or are thinking about purchasing and I will see you next time.